Honestly, I win. Hello and welcome to Ukulele Sprout. Today we are learning yet another song from the amazing series Over the Garden Wall, as featured on the second chapter, Hard Times at Hosking V. It was composed by the amazing band Petrovich Blasting Company and is sung by the um, artist Chris Isaac on the series. I tried to stay as um, close as possible to the arrangement that they play on the cartoon, so here we go. We have a little intro of just two notes and then we start our series of chords. The notes are G, A, and on the other voice, D, C. So just play the two notes together on the top, on the low two strings, third and fourth, like this. You can pick them either with the two fingers here, or as I do it with the thumb, just being careful to just catch those two strings. After that, I'm going to bring that finger that I already have on the instrument all the way to the 5th fret, where my first dot is usually marked and bring my ring finger, my 3rd finger, to the 3rd string on the same fret to play my first chord, F major 7. From there, I go to D minor 7, just bringing the 2 fingers that are already pressing the ukulele down to the 2nd fret and bring my index to the 1st fret on the 2nd string and my pinky to the 3rd fret on the 1st string. Next chord is G minor 7. To play that, your index has to press the first 2 strings on the 1st fret and your 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the 1st string. G minor 7. In between these 2 chords, the first time we play the sequel, we have a little melody, like this. string G. so to get the melody on top of the chords it's fairly easy the D minor 7 already has the D on the chord so just play normally the E doesn't so you have to remove your index for that second time you strum then bring it back to play the F that is already on the chord and then you land on G minor 7 that already has the G on the fourth string so all together goes like this slowly From here, continuing on, we have a G7, so that index that is blocking two strings, just relax it a little bit and bring it just to the second string, and bring your ring finger on the second fret of the first string to play G7. In there, we have a melody that, honestly, I can't remember <laughs> when I recorded this piece, if I did it all the times or not, but just in case, if you want to do it, go on. The melody goes... G, E, E, connecting to the next chord, E minor 7. So the way I do it is when I'm playing my G7, I bring my pinky on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, almost like playing just a G major, and do something like this. Okay, and that brings me to the next chord, E minor 7. So just remove the index, leave the two other fingers in. Okay, just twice, and then the change to A7. You can go for the easy A7 that we know with the index on the first fret of the third string. Although on this version, to respect the voicing, I go to a position higher on the same chord. A7, although in a different position. To get this position that I do, play your index on the second fret of the fourth string. Your second finger on the third fret of the second string your ring finger on the 4th fret of the 3rd string and your pinky on the 4th fret as well 
on the first string. That's A7. It's pretty much like a G7 going a step higher. So that's my A7. And that one will bring me back to D minor 7 that we already played. And we have a little melody connecting this to the next chord, which is just A minor for the rest of the sequence. So we go like this. C, A, E. The C is with the pinky already here on top. And the next two notes I have to remove that pinky and then remove the rest of the fingers to play the open second string. And then I start my series of A minors that I, pray, I play for the rest of the sequence. Although if you hear, I also have a little melody. A, G sharp, G natural, F sharp. So the bass is changing. The way to do it is just play your A minor, the easy one we already know on the second fret of the fourth string just a single thumb on that string on the fourth string then to your index on the first fret of that same string but in this chord as well try to place your pinky or your ring finger on C on the top C third fret of the first string to get the chord like this otherwise if you leave the string open even though it's the same chord and it should work it's really crashy between the G-sharp and the A, here. Let's, you see? It's a really crashy chord. It works because it's the, the right harmony for this song. Although, on the recording I do the C, the top C, to make it much nicer to, to listen to. So I go like this, A minor, A minor with the bass on G-sharp. I also play the top C. I removed G natural, so everything is open for the next one. And as I can keep going lower on this string to get the F sharp, I get the F sharp of the second string. So my thumb plays that string instead on the second fret of the second string. I bring back my A. So this, pre this chord pretty much looks like a Hawaiian D7 that we probably know. In this case, this chord is an A minor with a bass and F sharp. So the whole sequence goes like this. I start the same sequence all over again. F sharp, F, sorry, F major 7 to D minor 7. This second time there's no melody, so I go straight to G minor 7, G7. I do the melody just in case I remove my index. E minor 7, A7, back to D minor 7. And now I have a different melody to the second ending of the series. From this chord I have this melody. F with the open fourth string, G, and I land on the next chord, which is a B diminished 7. For the B diminished 7, bring your first and second fingers to the fourth and the second strings on the first fret, and the two other fingers to the third and the first string on the second fret. It's a really tight chord, but the good thing about this is that this position, diminished seven, is the same all over the ukulele. So it's a, pos a position that is worth to practice. So we have the B diminished seven in this case. The melody connecting was from D, F is already on the chord, remove the top finger to play the G, and land on your diminished 7 right there. And the last chord of the two sequences is C, just like that. Once you finished, you just start over. The two repetitions. First one has a melody between these chords. Okay, and it goes along. And from the D minor goes to the A minor the first time. Second time you play, you start over on the, this F major 7. No melody between these chords. And you go along. And from the second D minor 7, a different melody to the diminish. This the, the C 
sequence has two different endings. First one going to A minor, second one going to B diminished 7. But it's pretty much the same sequence of chords. And you play those two sequences that, with the two endings twice as well. Now about the rhythm, what I do, and I shouldn't, because usually the technique goes like this. Down, down, and the drum should be up. Although I liked the way it sounded when I was going down because I was able to use more nail, more, more weight of my right hand to get the drums with more presence. So what I do is all down, open, the next one is also open, but I shorten the chord by adding the rest of the fingers blocking. And with the strings block, I add my drum. You see? So I do one, two, three, four. So the first quarter note is open. The second quarter note is staccato, short. And I have a little drum in between the second and the fourth beats all the time. So let's try to play really slowly the whole uh, series of chords once to practice. Ready? Start with me, with the intro, sorry. F major 7. Second time, no melody. New melody and ending. Okay, for the solo on this song, I'm going to add a tablature with two different options for you to perform it on first position or first and second in the description down below along with the chart that has the chords and lyrics for this song although I have to say that solo has a note that is out of range for the standard tuning it has a low B that is just impossible on this tuning I recorded it using a ukulele with a low G you can try it, you can practice, it's gonna sound a little weird maybe but it's still it's good, good practice for your fingers. Time to practice. See you next time. Bye-bye.